Hey everybody, Al Puglisi, Al Puglisi Trains. Uh, today we're going to pastel weather, or I should say Howard is going to teach me and assist me, do the best he can with me to teach me and help me learn how to pastel weather some freight cars. And we've had, if you go to my channel and you go to my playlist, you can go on my favorite how to do it videos on YouTube. You'll see my prior video I made with Howard where he pastel weathered a brass Akani Allegheny, and then he pastel weathered another brass locomotive. And in both of those cases, he used graphite to give the boiler sheen, which was super cool. And then there's videos in my playlist, again, in the same area, how to do it videos. Howard weathered my EA B&O units, and he weathered my F7 C&O units, and they are spectacular. And these pastel, uh, pan pastels, after about two weeks of sitting on the models, it seals, and it's a pretty permanent seal, folks. I got to tell you, I have a car at home that we pan pastel weathered, and I tried to get it off, and it's, it's on there. So I've got two O-scale cars. As you know, I'm starting an O-scale layout. Let me show them to you. They're a little bit challenging. One's a chicken car that was built from a kit that uh, my friend uh, Bob Hess, who was gracious enough to sell me this, came from Bob Hess's collection, and he did a beautiful job building this chicken car. Uh, it uh, hasn't gotten any chickens yet. It's on its way to get chickens. Uh, it's got an empty load, and we're going to weather that little puppy. And then uh, one of my favorite boxcars of all time, the New York Central Pacemaker. And that one's going to be challenging because that's a super shiny uh, looking thing. That's an Atlas O-scale two rail car. And uh, I believe it's Atlas. It might be Athern, but nevertheless, uh, it offers its own challenges because it's just so shiny. You got to get that sheen off. So let me get started and Howard will be with us shortly to walk us through doing these particular cars. Howard, I'm not going to ask you how you are. You're uh, fine. You're fine. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're all right. Putrid piles of pictures. I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> God damn. Now, before I did anything weathering, uh, grip is important for these freight cars, for the for the pastel it's to grip. It's not important. To it. It's mandatory. Yes. And let's see the chicken car behind you. That well, no, one... no, it's mandatory on plastic and brass. Or okay. Anything shiny. Okay. This is wood, so you already got, it's already a flat finish. Yes, and uh, what I've done here is the first step Howard taught me is to... Get chickens. Mm. Get chickens, mm. and then the second step is to hit the, the wheels with rust. Now, I haven't done the trucks yet. I'm going to do the truck separate, but I hit the... Truck, the truck frames. The truck frames, yeah. I hit the springs with rust, and I hit the wheels with rust. Mm. So that's step one. Now, over here is our pacemaker car that I said is challenging as hell because it's so bright. And we just shot bright and, shiny. Mm. bright and shiny. So we just shot a light coat of Krylon flat clear on the whole car so that when it's thoroughly dry, the pastel I have something to grip to because this one's plastic. So let me pause the video and we will come back into various stages. The first one was the wrong brush. Hang All on. right, folks, what right Howard, Howard was just showing me is on the roof of these cars, the fronts are blacker, the centers are lighter, and then it gets darker in the back, typically. Well, it's basic logic because we're in the steam era, and steam engines put out black soot. Right. So so, so usually the black usually accumulates more at the ends for some reason. And then in the middle there's less. You know, as a kid, I used to climb on these cars. And they're in the T Deck Freight House mm -hmm. in New Jersey. Wow. Now, while we're doing that, on the wheels, we hit the wheels with rust. Yeah. And then the trucks. Well, rust or brown. Actually, brown is more realistic. Rust would come out too light. All right. Let's turn this, this way here. Now, there's more to, much more to this. See this? If you use a sponge, see how it leaves this very nice streak in there? Mm hmm You want that streak, don't you? Oh, yeah. I do. Yeah. 
And the makeup brush. Now, again, brush. you're photographing me, but I am not an expert of this shit. Well, you're That's better than I am because I, when I did this, you, uh, I, folks, I used too much, uh, of a sand powder on the bottom and had too much kick up on the bottom. And, well, that's uh, because you're a damn wop. That's right. Mm -hmm. Well, I thought it looked good, but Howard mm -hmm. said, no, no, it's too much. So you can always unscrew things up. So this is true. What we did was we just took some brown and went over the gray with brown mm -hmm. and that fixed it. No. Always in the ends over here. Now the ends are usually really heavy at the top and then lighten up or. Oh, yeah. Again, and I I like a, a medium to heavy weathered car. That's just the way I am, folks. I like. I like it subtle. Yes, I like. That's that in. Now we'll get this in. Oh shit! So now for the cage, I took a sponge and used rust. And I used a sponge kind of like Howard's using. Okay. And got the rust on the, the wire and the, the cage. Okay, now. Now. Some of this. Uh, the black, this is good with the roof, Howard? Now over here, we're going to go across here. All right, hold on. Let me, let me come around. How's the roof? The roof pretty much done or need oh, a yeah, little more? Fine. All right. Now, what are you doing now? Just adding a little. Weather in here. Straight down vertical. with black. Just like that. But it'll make it a little heavier over here. With the sponge. Using the black. Uh, the brush works well just as well. God, what a difference. That's it. Now, you don't have to know when to stop. Right. Do not, when you get to this point, you stop. Right. You're not going to get any better. This looks... There's only one more uh, thing we can add. Chickens. No, sure. The chickens here. <laughs> How about some shit? Well, you got the shit in there now. You know, I had a pet chicken when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. And uh, I love that chicken. Sally the chicken. It would eat corn out of my hands. And I'd race home from school every day. The hook salary the chicken. Jesus, Howard. One day I couldn't find the chicken. My grandma had cooked it. Mm. Uh, she was living with it. Man. I never spoke to her again until even after the day she before she died. She was in the hospital. My God. I hated her. I could not forgive her for cooking my pet chicken. My mm. Yeah, that that you know, that can have lasting effects. It sure did. I still do. You know, a little bit there's a, just a mark up here. Get rid of that. Right, got a right. finger mark. On the... Okay, now that's I'm gonna add a little bit on here, down here. Kick up. Yeah, and that's there. sand. Yeah. The great thing about this, I don't know what I'm doing, and this man's teaching me. <laughs> yeah, shit, you Howard, the you, yeah, but you were the I'm one doing. giving me shit, telling me that it looked like shit. Great buckets of bubble bullshit. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, you do. Because oh, <laughs> I thought it looked great, and you said, no, this looks like crap. I told you I don't know what I'm doing. I can, I can recognize what it looks good. Oh, it looks good. I know good. how to get there, but I don't know what I'm doing. It looks freaking great, oh. man. God, look at this thing. Son of a bitch. Folks, pardon the uh, language, but... Oh, uh, but this well, thing. first of all, from New Jersey. This thing is You killer. can take the guy out of Jersey, but you can't take Jersey out of the guy. Somebody thought I was from Philadelphia. They say, yeah, I agree with that. You know, I'm like, no, I'm Baltimore. Well, I was technically, I'm a Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. suburbs. That's where I grew up in the Washington area. But Well, quite frankly, I love this area so much. I never went home. Man. And you let this car sit for about a week, oh, two a couple, weeks. A couple of weeks. A couple of weeks. Don't touch it. Just let it sit. Well, this has a this is wood. So it may be a week. That's it. That's all we want. Man. Call. Look at this. Buck, 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 buck. The only thing buck, 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 that I we're think missing you, you here is, good chicken, is, is some good chicken. <laughs> buck, buck, buck. Now, I shouldn't go. I shouldn't stuff some more black down in these holes. No. 
Just leave if it you to help. Yeah, you can. Right, I'll do yeah, that. You can do that. So let me pause yeah. this. All right, folks, Howard just did the smell test. Why the smell test, Howard? Well, because <laughs> if there's no smell, obviously the lacquer is gone. Right. It's just perfectly, just perfectly neutral. Because, mm. man, you don't want to hit the pastels on this once you've shot the flat clear on it, unless it's no, completely dry. I'm not getting high by smelling it. Right. Uh, Most, uh, no, uh, you might get high smelling it. It'd be nice. All right, let's start with this again. What we're going to do now, you're on... missing some steps of this thing. Okay, That's let's talk about it. Over here. Oh, I'll have to find those. Well, can, we can make those. Yeah, I'll have to find those. But nevertheless, we can begin our weathering. Okay. And on this, we're gonna I'm gonna hit the wheels real quick with a little bit of rust and the the truck frames with brown. Start with the wheels, then do the coupler. Okay. All right, folks. What we're doing on this, we're not gonna start with black on this like we did the chicken car. Howard, we have to dull this down. Well, one of the problems, so this is a toy. It's off the shelf, similar to a Line L or an MTH. It's not nothing to do with any kind of craftsman. It's nice, it's beautiful, but it's shiny. Right. And the color is way the hell out of scale. Right. So our goal now is to bring the color into scale. How do we do that? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to find out if it works. And this is a, a reddish color. Yeah, well, we want that. We don't want we don't want a bright red. Right. I, I'm using the sponge because I can cover more. Right. Now I don't know how that looks so far. Oh, looking pretty. It's doing its job. It's dulling it down. Even though we put a. Well, you a, see how it gets more in scale. This is now in scale. That is not in scale. Right. That's right. Yeah. Like, and again, it, there's no such thing as a scale color, but it's the weathering that brings it into scale. It gives it. The, actually, that's not true. Uh, these very fine paints that were made by Foco uh -huh. and Scale Coat, those those colors were to scale. Okay. Finally ground down. They brought they brought the the the, the model into. Yeah. Now I haven't tried any of these new paints because I have a lifetime supply of Scale Coat and Foco. Mm -hmm. And to me that was the very best. Okay. Now look here. I got that. Shirt. Oh See yeah, what a difference. difference. Then we're going to put the black over that. All right. Let me pause now, let's this. Let's get this looking halfway decent. And then I'll do the black. Sometimes I amaze myself. When I do things for the first time. And it works. And when I, when I screw it up, you're, God, you're, Jesus, God, it's screwed up. Here, we got to fix it, which is great. I love the, but, you know, again, folks, we said it before in the videos. Go out and buy some cheap cars. And learn how to do this with some cheap cars first. And then well, once you feel comfortable, then start this is going. A, it's a plastic, but it's not cheap. Right. The quality of the molding and all the uh, work on this car is quite good. You're missing a few things. you got a missing step here. Mm, okay. See, one of the reasons, Al, I don't do O-scale cars because I don't have any support materials. Right. And it takes years and years to build that up like I've done with HL. Right. Well, that's my job to start building up support materials. Now, once I built a sort of a hotel for a very nice physician up in Maine, I shot mention his name. He's a wonderful person. And it took me literally uh, twice as long as it would have taken me to build it in HO. Hmm. And I couldn't charge as much as the HO. So, do I do end scale structures? No, I do not do end scale structures anymore. Been there. He doing it. Yeah. <laughs> that is a statement. Nothing against any scale. Well, the other just... problem is I don't have that many support items for any skill. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, I grew up with old, old gauge, so, uh, but then I got, I got into the hobby. I got in because of John Allen, seeing his work. Now, if John Allen's work was uh, O-scale, I would have gone O-scale. Right. Okay, we got that. All right, folks, now, I'm going pa to pause this, Howard. Okay. Now we're going to try to get the ends. All right. Okay. Let me pause it. Okay. All right. We put more powdered. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm doing what you did. You basically did a very good job, but you're a little timid. And when I say less is more, try to learn how to balance that statement. Right. And that is your mantra. Less is more. The mantra. Less is more. The, the mantra. Is mantra a Japanese word? 
mantra goes back to Sanskrit. It was uh, when the ancient sages would meditate. We're talking thousands and thousands of years ago. They had uh, they would say words in Sanskrit, like Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, <laughs> and that would put him into a state of meditation. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. What a difference. Very subtle black. Now, the color we put down before simulates the beginning of rust. You gotta do less is more, but you can't be too timid. Right. Do this like you got a couple in your pants. Now I gotta do. I gotta. We gotta do the red sides next. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's... Yeah, that's good enough. That's good enough for that. All right, folks. What we just did on the that, sides of this works. car. Howard okay. discovered that if he if he takes the red on a sponge and goes downward strokes, it gives the gray a little bit of red. Okay, now on the ends, Howard, you were using well, the, the black. Well, the dirt will form a pattern like this. Roof, sides, bottom. So we're going to go over here. In a swirl, in a swirling motion. They're ever so slight. What a difference. That's enough. Don't want to do anymore. Right. This car is spectacular. Now we want to get the tops up here. This is actually a, you know, I hate plastic, but this is a exceptionally well done. Who yeah. built this car? Uh, it's, it could have been Intermountain. It could have been Atlas. It could have been... Yeah, uh, they didn't put their name on it. Yeah, it could be an Intermountain car or an Atlas yeah. car. I'm not that now familiar. Look at the body detail. That's pretty damn nice. Yeah, for... Yeah. That is nice. Metal trucks. and Again, this is from Bob Hess's collection. Our friend Bob. Bob, if you watch this, thank you very much. You're not getting it back. You're not, yeah, these are spectacular. Okay, let me get the ends attached. As a matter of fact, I'm going back up Saturday, Howard, to buy more rolling stock. How much does he have? He has a good amount. You realize he's going to change scales again. That's okay. He's not getting it back. And, uh, man, look Bob's at that. a wonderful guy. Yes, he is. But he sure likes to change scales. Well, I mean, look at me. I've got HO and, and O scale going. and But again, it's to showcase what, well, what we do here. Your possum isn't fully fixed. Yes, it's not. Now I want to put a little white on the bottom. All right, right, let's let me, let me watch this here. Oh, yeah. Kick up. Sand or gray? Oh, what color is that? Sand, Howard? This is sand, yeah. That's this color here. Don't worry about the trucks. We'll get that off. Now, usually you'd have a, right around the door, you'd have a little more here. Because uh -huh. they load stuff up like cement bags. Right. Sometimes they leak. Right. That's too much. That looks great. Yeah. I'm very That's happy great. with it. My New York Central buddy said they tried to keep these cars relatively clean, but toward the end of the line, I think, they... Uh, Just wasn't. Wasn't the case. I've seen a train of these go by. I was up in Beacon watching on the New York Central uh -huh. years ago, and, uh, and the whole train of these things went by, and they were pretty dirty. I love them. I, I mm. One of the, my dream trains would be to get a yeah. Niagara and weather it, and then no, get a string cool. of these, get a string of these, and that's have a fast freight on the layout, you know? Okay, now, what we want to do is get, what we didn't do is the top up here. Okay, you do that black very lightly. Man alive. Usually it's best to use rubber gloves. Yes. 
Her hands are filthy. The wife says, what the hell are you all doing? Working on cars? For God's sake, you're working on trains. I come home, my wife's like, your hands are filthy. Well, this uh, pa pastel work uh, is not the cleanest. No. Okay. Wow. Howard, this car looks beautiful, I think. I think we are done with this thing. It was once a cartoon in Model Railroad magazine. Chris this morning, guy goes down. Yes, yeah. he's all his cars are freshly painted. And his <laughs> wife says, Well, dear, I just wanted you to have fresh looking cars. Oh, God. <laughs> and he was ready to kill her. <laughs> well, okay, that's, that's done. That's man. Not more to it. Let that sit. We're let that sit. And I've, mm -hmm. we've got more different cars, folks. Let's see that... this blends in over here. Oh, yeah. We're gonna. I'll be bringing more cars over and different cars, and the the only way to learn is to practice and do it. And uh, I just get the cover. this will be an ongoing episode. We've had a lot of people, Howard, write in and say that they really enjoy watching the pastel. Really? Yeah, and that they're trying it and they're getting great results. I have no idea what I'm doing. That's all right. It looks. This thing looks like it belongs in a natural gallery of art. I mean, God, man, it's <laughs> it's <laughs> freaking beautiful. It's it. $25 toy box card. Yeah, not anymore. Mm -hmm. Hey, thanks, Howard. Hey, always thanks you. Mm -hmm.